Well, let's talk about reason number 1,070. Uh, 1,000, uh, I don't know. Let's make this reason number 5,354. Uh, why I don't want to go live in New Jersey. All right. Um, JCPNL once again had a major equipment malfunction resulting in a blackout. And worse, one person was injured in this explosion. Uh, this happened at this substation that you see here in Sayreville, New Jersey. So you can see this uh, substation right here. And the substations are always like their weak link, you know. Um, the, the, I mean, these substations basically, look at how antiquated they are. I mean, these are all 34.5 kilovolt substations, which we know JCPNL loves. And, I mean, it looks cool and everything, but... Uh, here on Long Island, we've upgraded a lot of our power uh, sub-transmission lines to 69 kilovolt. But JCPNL still uses 34.5, which is not enough to handle the growing demand for power. And uh, so this is the substation right here uh, that failed. Uh, and, you know, you got wires falling down on Amtrak. You got JCPNL having problems. New Jersey is a hot place, and they can't take the heat. So... Um, Let's play this story. News 12, New Jersey did cover this extensively. So we're going to play this. Some people are without power after a substation caught fire. News 12, New Jersey's Chris Keating is along Main Street with the very latest on what happened, including when the electricity might be restored. And that's right. The power is still out. JCPNL is telling us that people here in Saverill affected by this power outage will likely see their lights turn back on sometime on Saturday morning. Yeah, they got to wait till tomorrow show morning. You exactly where this fire started. It happened at a substation owned by JCPNL, which is located on Main Street here in Saverill. One worker inside doing work was. I think Governor Phil Murphy really needs to get on their case too. Was injured, and we're told he suffered severe injuries, burns to his hands during that fire. This substation sits along Main Street, and at this time, the street is closed and covered with fire trucks and utility trucks. It was just after 11 o'clock this morning when witnesses tell us they heard an explosion, one which would knock out power to much of Sayreville. Glenn Skarzynski is the borough administrator. They were in the process of installing a temporary substation. We've been having some rolling brownouts over the last few days, and they were making equipment accommodations to... So they're having rolling brownouts because the grid can't handle it, and they're, I mean, this is, this JCPNL is just, they can't take the heat. And fix that problem. A temporary substation, which you see these JCPNL crews working on, was trucked into the property on Thursday. But while making that switch over to that temporary substation, there was an equipment failure and fire. All of the businesses next door at Winding River Plaza were knocked offline, including Rostoni's Pizza. We go, we're getting ready for lunch. People are walking in. We had an explosion, smoke blow it up in the air, everybody had to leave the building. Owner Butch Nassimi allowed us inside to see that the power is off. The ovens are cool and the glass trays normally full of pies are empty. Nassimi is now worried about losing all of the food that's stored inside of his refrigerators. Yeah, it's refrigerated, but I don't know how long it's going to be off, if it's going to last that long in the refrigerator. As long as nobody got hurt, we could uh, make up for it tomorrow. It's the same for other businesses, including the Krausers, the Chinese restaurant and nail salon here. It's not only stores and homeowners without power, but so are some Look vital intersections throughout Sayreville. That, that includes yeah. Washington Road at Journey Mill, where there are traffic backups. As for getting the power back on, JCPNL is warning residents to prepare for an extended outage. The repairs are extensive. They're going to take some time. We anticipate at this point that the outage will extend into tomorrow morning. As for the person who was injured during this fire, the utility is telling us that it was a contractor for JCPNL. Now, for those here in Savory who are in need of ice or water tonight, while you don't have any electricity, there are two offerings. One place you can go to is the Senior Center here in Savory, and you can get either there. The other is the ShopRite in Parlin. Again, JCPNL is offering free water and ice for those in need. That's the very latest in Savory. I'm Chris Keating, News 12. I mean, imagine being without power through the night. I couldn't deal with that. I mean, you know, in this heat, at least it cools off there. I mean, I, got, I hope nobody's stuck in an apartment like, like that over there. But, I mean, it's obvious that JCPNL has issues. All right? And if we go and we look at New Jersey right now, uh, there are a lot of power outages there. There's also a lot in Salem County. I don't know why there's 1,207 outages there. That's Atlantic City Electric. 
Ocean County, we have 76 people without power. Uh, and then Middlesex County, this is the where the outage is, 1,846. And then Hunterdon County, 457. Warren County, 125. Sussex, 220. J.C. Pinnell still has a lot of people out of power right now. And they have, let's see, 2,662 customers that power. And the majority of them are in Sayreville uh, right here. This is the outage right here that's affecting Sayreville uh, because of that substation uh, that, again, and then we have all these other outages here. Why are there all these outages going on? It's also one in Lakewood that's affecting 669 people. I, I mean, really? I, I mean, you'll know, so make it a little small as you can see that. But, yeah, I mean, I mean, this is pathetic. And then they still have a lot of, where these storms hit, they still haven't restored everybody yet. We still have outages here, 140. I mean, it's been a day already, man. I mean, look at the outage you see here. First Energy is 2,721 outages. Linux, and meanwhile, PSE&G only has 360. Because PSE&G is a better electric company than JCP&L. But they're, not, they're in the northern part of Jersey, or the central part of Jersey, the part that actually is almost as expensive as Long Island. So, um, But, yeah. The, the, and PSE&G, obviously, is our electric company here on Long Island as well. Um, and uh, let's go to our outage map. And I don't think we have many power outages. Let me go and take a look and see what we got going on here. Only 12 people without power right now on Long Island. So, I mean, whereas JCPNL is just pathetic. I'm sorry, but they are. I mean, their infrastructure is just not up to, the, up to it, man. They can't handle it. Just like Amtrak's infrastructure. It can't take the heat. Why did that wire come down? Because it sagged because, because the electric... Grid is overtaxed in New Jersey, and it's hot in Jersey. And it's, it's, it's just, you know, people without power, still without power from that storm in West Milford. So, I mean, this is what goes on in New Jersey. And just another reason why I don't want to have to ever wind up having to go live there. I know the snobs and the plan and all that stuff. But, you know, what? screw them, man. I don't know how I could survive there and deal, deal with this. Look at this substation. I mean, this is, and there, a lot of these substations look like this. A lot of them look like this. You know, let's let's go to Tom's River, you know, the town I'm, that, the, that they want to force me to live in. All right? It just feels like it anyway. Let's look at the substation there because it's pretty old too. Let's go look at the substation here. Right here in downtown again. Look at this. It's such a small substation too. Again, they just don't have the capacity that, you know... I mean, this is the substation. Look at how old this stuff is. It looks a little better than the Sayreville one, but, I mean, this one looks pretty bad, too. Honestly, look at that. They've got, what, two transformers, and that's it? To handle the, the, the town of Tom's River? I mean, they have other substations in Tom's River, but, I mean, they don't have enough substations. They don't have enough. Let me compare that to, to, to what we have, all right? That's the substation in Tom's River. Granted, they have a bigger substation. That's the smaller one, but that's the one that serves the town. They have a bigger one over here. This is the, this is the larger substation that they have, all right? Uh, but this substation here, I, whenever I've walked by it, it's got a crazy loud hum. It's very unnerving. Um, it really is. So I compare that to the substations we have here on Long Island, and I know I've spoken about Mineola not having sufficient... Um, you know, power grid uh, infrastructure, but it's still better than what JCP&L has. Let's uh, go ahead and look here at the Garden City Park substation, which you know is kind of small, but we can find it. I know it's around here somewhere. Um, come on, where are you? I know you're around here somewhere. Sorry if I sound like I'm talking to myself, but just I know where these places are, and here it is. So this is the Garden City. Look at how much bigger that substation is. All right. So this is the substation we have. This is the, look at how much better that substation looks than what we have. I mean, uh, than what they have in Jersey. I mean, those are 69 kilovolt power lines, and not the 34.5 that you have. So you know, don't you dare ever tell me to shut up and go live in New Jersey because I will fight you. I will fight you. I'll fight you. I don't want to wind up there, man. It's like that's horrible, man. It, it really is. You know, um, it's not home. It's horrible. It's just another reason why I don't want to have to ever go live there. And I remember in Tom's River, and I've showed you the, I showed you those power lines here. I'll show you some of these power lines here coming in here. I remember 
Uh, the power goes out there a lot. When I've been there, I mean, I've, I don't go to Jersey that much, but I've, had, I've, seen, I've dealt with like three power outages. One time the power was out at Jake's Branch, then another time the power was out at the, the bus terminal, and then, and then that's actually not the power line um, that I wanted to show you. Um, it's over here. Um, and then one time I was sitting eating. I mean, I have Roy Rogers, which is great, but I was sitting there. And the power went out, and for it went out. It came back on at five minutes, and you know, and when it went out, people weren't surprised. They didn't act surprised at all. Like, oh, it's a substation problem because it's a constant issue with JCPNL. So that's why I like to joke around and call them everybody's favorite electric company, sarcastically, because they're really not, you know. Uh, and you know, I wish Phil Murphy would get on their case a little more about it, you know, because it's not acceptable. It really is. But this is New Jersey's problem to deal with, and it's not a problem I want to take on. You know what I'm saying? So don't ever tell me to shut up and go live in New Jersey because I, I'll give you hell. I really will. Anyway, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.